Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Icket Claw in Immortal Empires. This is number 100. I cannot believe I've been playing this for 100 episodes, but also on the flip side, I fought so many battles against vampire counts early on that like I'm surprised it's kind of only 100. But yeah, we made it to 100 and I thought that this was closer to my Meow campaign because Meow Yang I went pretty far, but I looked back and that only had 61 parts, so I'm like well beyond where I ended with Meow Yang. And I'm not ending with this anytime soon, so I I apologize, but I also kind of don't make apologies, so. Anyway, we have... Oh, Muddled Mines, Campaign Movement Range, Ambush Defense Chains, I could really ambush them. I thought about going to take back pig barter, but like if I could wipe out some of these armies. Master engineer. But also I feel like if I don't take back take back pig barter, that the chaos dwarves are going to. Because I think, yeah, they are at war with Helmand because they took the haunted forest. So where are my schematics? Let's see. What to do, what to do. Enemies I can easily pick these guys off. Lightning strike. I don't even need lightning strike because I ambushed. Is it going to be mean to me in the ambush? That's the question. Seems pretty open. I'm gonna auto resolve this, but I feel like it's gonna hurt my heroes quite a bit. Perhaps. <laughs> the scary ones, Graveguard are a little scary, but the Cairn Wraiths and the Morngulls are more scary because they have stock. I'm just gonna see what this does. All right, so it did hurt my Warlock Engineers a little bit, but oh, I didn't need to do that. I wonder how bad this will hurt my warlock engineers if I do this one. Not too bad. Replenish a little bit. And then... What if I do this one? Okay. Alright, so that was a little reckless because I probably could have gotten through all of those without worrying about um, taking damage, but that's fine. If I get attacked by these guys, I can easily take them out. And I'll bring Garer over here to kind of stopgap that, and then Vermich, I think I'm going to have him go after Gustav. <laughs> kind of want to fight this just to watch the Chaos Dwarves go after him. Is that, is that horrible that I like to watch the AI fight each other? I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I could do this on my own. I could auto-resolve it and I would be fine, but it's just more fun to watch the AI fight each other. I wish this army was more powerful because and then it could be a true like chaos dwarfs versus vampire count situation, but with my Jezails and Plague Clock catapults, who knows, maybe I'll even take them out before the chaos dwarves show up. Oh, look at all this green grossness. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna stick my guys back here in the corner. Like I said, I'll have Jezils here. Oops, probably should. I don't know if they can see. Rattling guns definitely cannot see, but. We'll just have our guys set up kind of like this and they're not going to attack me because I attacked them, so we'll just wait for two minutes for the reinforcements to show up. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, but I can't help it.
I wonder if my rats could do anything cool. I think if I put the rats, the dire wolves. I've got the menace below, might as well. Reinforcements have arrived. Thank goodness. I was really nervous for a minute there. Oh, he's got quite a few Taurus units. And a Dreadquake Mortar. Those are pretty sweet. Alright, so they're now coming my direction. And he's... I'm just gonna let it play out and see what happens. I feel like they're trying to get to me, but I don't know if they can't take this bridge. Go, my dwarven friends. Why are you targeting the... Alright, so some of them are already crumbling. So my play claw catapults. Why are you targeting the lord with your mortar? I feel like mortar is anti-infantry, so you're not even damaging him at all. Should I have my Jezails fire? Or maybe I won't. Now I'm targeting him. Just gonna cease that operation and just let him take the brunt of this, see how he does. Who is his lord even? Oh, it's just a rando. Go, Gustav! Oh, they're coming for me. Alright, so Gustav versus Bale Taurus. Losing. That's not good. There you go. Get your... Get your bows in there to start shooting up that mortise engine. Ooh. I would have put the spell probably over here, but that's just me. Okay, mortise engine's gonna be gone in a minute. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, the mortar. quickly can you take down the lord? You're taking damage. See, I would have done this and I wouldn't have had any damage. Alright, there you go. You won. Hooray! Good job. Well done. What was that? Who are you shooting at just then? Were you shooting at me? Was this a secret ploy to learn my tactics? My rats are still superior. In a contest, I feel like I could beat the Chaos Dwarves. If we were in battle, I feel like I could. And maybe we will have to, I don't know. It's very possible. But yeah, I feel like I wasted your time playing that out, but I just think it's fun to watch. And Vermich, he's been through a lot. If he's the same Vermich that I remember. I think he's the same Vermich that had the army full of warfire throwers. So I think that was Vermich. I'll take 805 from that. Alrighty, so... We only got these two stinkers left. should not be a problem whatsoever. And we're still deteriorating even though they we helped each other out. They really don't like treaties with the other rat folk. The other skeeven. So. Oh well. 
So Vermich has done a thing. I'll bring Vermich over here and I'll have it get Claw come. Oh, I can't. I can't. If I force march him, I can get here. I wonder if that'll help my warlock engineers. Nope, didn't change. Alrighty then. Krakenid. Krakenid could... come up this direction. Or I was thinking about rebuilding his army, wasn't I? Because I don't want these clan rats. Demon caller. So in the meantime, I could put some more Jezails. He doesn't have any heroes. Just have three more Jezails and then maybe another Plague Claw Catapult and then I could just do Chieftain Sorcerer. I'll do a Sorcerer. Actually, I could do all of them, couldn't I? I could do both Chieftains and the Sorcerer. Because I have four slots. So, there we go. It's all coming together. Okay, so that was Krakenid. Vermich Obsaith. Obsaith. Um, I'll bring him up this direction as well. Oh, he has to take the long way. Rats. If I take you in the water, can you... That's a lot faster. Okay, Vermich is holding... Vermich and Gera are holding the choke point there. Chant is gonna come as well. Throt. Throt's coming to help out with Marathi, so... Gotta wait until they move on the other side. There we go. Okay, can you... You cannot underway across quite yet, so... This direction... And probably could have you sail there. Cheer of flesh. Ickbolt hemlock. Oh, Marathi's coming. Marathi! Can Lord Skrulk stand against Marathi? He does need to replenish a little bit, and I have a feeling Marathi and this Black Ark are going to attack, so that'll be interesting if he's not up to his full potential there. Be bad if he got wounded after he had just he just come back from being wounded. This army looks like a scroll special. <laughs> Can I get out of the attrition? I can't. Well, Brom got some experience, so that was fine. Shab. It's gonna go after Mist. Oh, that's Nakari. I am so... Oh, man, Nakari. Yikes. Well, you're kind of not helping right there. Your words are not. Can Marathi, she can't get to me if I go right along the coast here, so I'm just gonna come sit right over here, I think. Oh, you are raiding me. It's like you want me to declare war on you. I just don't feel like I'm in a good position to declare war on Rakarth right now, but the fact that he's raiding me is really irritating. Hmm, let's see. Stretch. Yeah, I just can't justify bringing these guys back because these guys are so much higher level. What heroes do I have access to over here? Well, I don't have any because... I don't 
don't have the building. Okay, get Packmasters here or Warlock. Okay, this is probably a better spot because I could get better heroes here. Um, I don't need to build up these buildings here, but I'm trying to decide the the Lord. I kind of want the Warlord because I haven't played around with them too much, but it's potential that their loyalty would come in a lot lower, which wouldn't be the best. But I could do Plague or Ruin. I'm going to go with the Warlord, I think. Strong or sharp teeth. Melee attack, armor, piercing, weapon, armor, melee attack, weapon, strength. I'll go with Scalpite the Fabricator. So he came in with six. That's not too bad. So we got a... And then I'm going to... Like I normally do. I'm going to bring in a couple pack masters as somewhat of a front line. And yeah, I used all of the plague priests, so then I could do some. I'll just do you and Warlock engineer. you, Brom. Another. Oh, oh no, the mad. <laughs> I'll do Brom. Okay, and then from here, Scalpite. What do we have to work with? I'm just going to get you a couple of those, and he does have a lot of monsters, so I feel like having two Warfire Cannons would... Yeah, Warp Lightning Cannons, not Warp Warp Lightning Cannons. Uh, who is anti-large? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm probably better off... This is charge defense against large, but they also tend to have a lot of artillery, not artillery, ranged units too. But I almost feel like having storm vermin would be good. Although the hell pit abomination, that is bonus versus large. I got a couple of them. And then I'll have to wait because. I just... I don't even think I have the building for... Jezails. Yeah, I, I have the building for Jezails. I just It's going to be some time before I could recruit them naturally. So, Alright, and then Pustin's over here like... Where are you going, Adraxes? I'm going to have so much... Um, so many levelings up to do. Yes, right, let's see if yes. we can take this garrison and this together. Pure victory, medium casualties. And I lose a plague priest unit. Oh, these are both what's his face's armies. I'm not gonna bother with that. Siege vehicles are not available. Oh, it's a settlement battle. I'll just circle. Although, Bel Nenya, Granite Stance, might be able to reinforce. Master Engineer. Alright, I think that's all of the. Um, all of the movements that I can do. And I'm just gonna have to do a ton of this. Because I, I pulled in like a bunch of heroes. Oh wait, I still have spells I could put that point into. And spell resistance against the Dark Elves might be a good thing. I feel like they usually target my units, but... I'll actually do it. Uh, Ick Bolt is not over. Ugh, I don't know. I can't keep my armies straight anymore. I don't know who's who. Verminous Valor sounds like a cool thing. That is good, good. Most masterful of masters. Okay, 
training. This is a new guy, Braum. Um, Vermintide, Plague Rash. <laughs> I am Greatest Warlord. Yes, yes. Mentor and. Oh, I never did Pestilent Birth. Oh, because. This may have been a Skrulk guy. That's why maybe I didn't have a chance to level him up the way that I wanted to. I know this is the real reason why you guys watch is to watch me do all this extra stuff that's... Oh, actually, the diplomatic relations, I think, is still applicable. All right, so now all these new guys... So, life is cheap. Skaven slaves don't care. Ravenous expansion, growth. Ambush success chance. We'll go with that. Warp stone weapon, sure. Let's, while we're here, do these two. Um, Scalpite the fabricator. If I end up doing weapons teams, I'm going to want this. Okay, but then I'm probably also going to want some of this, so. Excellent breath, Vermintide. Leg rash, blessed with filth, and then pestilent birth. And magical reserves. Oh, I should have done warpstone tokens. I'll do it with this guy. Whoops, wither, pestilent birth. I'll do magical reserves again, it's fine. Tide of death, tide of pox, tail weapon. I'm not very creative with how I level these guys up. If, in case you didn't know, Howling Warp Gale will be good against his his um flying guys. But also increased mobility is good, but I, I feel like I need to. I didn't get ballistics calibration out of that guy. Oh well. Okay, we're getting there. This is these turns, man. They're long, long turns, and I don't have quite the fund reserves that I used to. Well, that went fast. <laughs> Is there anything else here? Barrier idols. Yeah. And we're down to 44. Okay. Um. Admiral of Car Seven. One. Hunger for soul. Okay, so I Master still cannot confederate yet. I don't have that option. All right. Well, that was a turn. So let's see how. Helmengorst. Oh, it's Arkling. Forgot about Arkling. Doink. Oh, I forgot about a lot of them, apparently. Alright, so ones to watch out for. What will Helmengorst do now that he's backed into a corner? What's Marathi gonna do? She wants peace. I love that she's at war with her son. It's just fun. But I'm going to decline. So Marathi. Ooh. He did come down, didn't he? We've got two of my guys and Skrulk. Arriving in 52 seconds. So arriving at about the same time that Marathi does. Oh, I really don't like this map, though. But I don't think I can... retreat far enough. But yeah, this map's not my favorite of maps. I've gotten myself into some situations before. Okay. 
All right, I'm going to I'm going to be cheeky about this. I'm going to save it here. And I'm going to try to retreat and see what happens. Okay, so now they're just after Skrulk. And it's two armies. So it's not as bad. I could probably could do it. But the map's probably the same, isn't it? It is. So if I retreat again, what happens? Okay, so we we passed. Alright, I just really don't want to fight on that map unless I and I don't think Skrulk did I give Skrulk lightning strike because if I did that would be sweet I don't think you can ambush on the water okay world walkers have been declared war by the abominations oh who should I side with this is tough oh the abominations Well, that's just dumb. How do they got a help at abominations going up against me? All right, I'm just, I'm not going to bother with this. I'm just going to let them have it. That's fine. All right, now heroic victory. There we go. Okay. Heroic victory. I didn't realize there's so many stinking abominations out there. So he pulled me into his war, and then I did all the work. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. I didn't get pulled into his war. He was attacked. I'm sorry, Wolfric. Alright, so your loyalty is Corpable, Silent, Vermis. Flesh Lip, Vermis. Wow. Okay. Alright. It was quite a quite a lot over there, so. Ickbolt Hemlock is in a bad way. Um I could sail him down here. I don't know if Marathi get to me if I come all the way down here. Skrull did get to replenish a bit, so that helps. And I think I gave him... I did give him lightning strike, so I'm curious to see how that would go. Does Shab also have lightning strike? He does. Would you look at that? Maybe I could pick him off. One by one. So I'm going to come back to them if I remember. Who knows if I will remember or not. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to have Brom come over here so that he can not keep taking attrition. But we might have him sail up to good old Ulthwan. And snipe the galleon's graveyard, potentially. Okay, he's raiding me for a lot, and I don't like this. Just give it time, Rakarth. Keep playing with fire over there, buddy. Test me, and you will regret it. Okay, I'm gonna have you start. Nothing to see here, Rakarth. Nothing to see here. I'm not slowly building up armies to fight against you. I would never do such a thing. Never, ever. Oh, was I? Oh, no, I was recruiting these guys down here. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any other units that I currently have access to. I mean, the Storm Vermin maybe would be nice, but I think my biggest thing is going to be a couple mortars, a heckin' lot of Jezails, and then maybe three rattling guns. Two turns. Boom. Okay, Morphin Rot. Still a Pyrrhic victory. Still, I don't lose my Plague Priest this time. I'm just going to go for it. And I don't really have a lot of food. But, oh. Still in the yellow. Okay, so let's see. Bell Nenya. Nenya business. Okay, still can't get to me, so I have time to replenish a little bit. 
Would you look at that? They had a garrison. Good for them. Just the way I would have done if I were in their spot. Um, and let's see. Know your place. Loyalty for new recruits. Scavenging. We're just gonna continue to try to get all of those. Um, alright. Can I finish off Helm and Gorst? No, 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 no! That's not what you were supposed to do, Gar. Okay, Valiant Defeat. Even with Lightning Strike, is it because they are hiding behind their walls? If Vermich comes to assist... Decisive victory. Let me just make sure the auto resolve isn't going to be stupid. No. Overrun them. Make under empire bigger. Is Helmen Gorst gone? No, because there's still Rain Reynold Gorst. Oh my gosh! Really? And I can't, I have no way. No, I do, I do. I can, right? Yeah, I can, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, and with that, I think Helmand Gorst is gone. And I got my ultimate campaign victory, but look at all of this territory I still have yet to uncover. So I'm still going. I own 169 regions all right well we're gonna continue this campaign i should have looked at my statistics that would have been cool but glory to us the war will go on sweet no blame. and i'll have you camp so that you don't take attrition and i know it's in the middle of the turn but i think i'm gonna call it there just because these turns are really long. I do want to see real quick. Can I build a Doom Rocket? And I could get eight Doom Rockets if I didn't have to wait five turns for them. So there's that. But yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, we've got some cleanup to do with Marathi. The Chaos Dwarves have retreated. I'm curious to see what's going to develop of some of these factions. Who's going to declare a war on who? And whose wars am I going to get pulled into because I have foolishly sided with certain people? That's going to be interesting. But for now, my focus is on Marathi and potentially Rakarth. So we will see how that goes. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you'll come back and see me in the next one.